The loss of an NBA legend taken too soon. San Diego and the world remembering the life and legacy of Kobe Bryant. Hello, I'm Mark Mullen. Thanks for joining us for the nightly check-in. And I'm Bridget Naso. So tonight, there is an incredible outpouring of heartfelt emotion from fans and strangers alike. A memorial continues to grow outside of Kobe Bryant's Sports Academy in Thousand Oaks. Bryant was among the victims involved, as you know by now, in yesterday's helicopter crash in Calabasas. That also claimed the lives of his daughter, Gianna, college baseball coach John Altabelli from Orange County, his wife Carrie, and their daughter Alyssa. Here at home, a local foundation for challenged athletes is reflecting on what Kobe Bryant did to bring awareness to their cause. Local Paralympics gold medalist Megan Blanc was one of the people selected to meet one-on-one -on -one with Kobe at his Thousand Oaks facility. For Megan, this chance to meet Kobe came with at the perfect time. Megan says she was struggling with depression and felt Kobe's Mamba mentality pushed her forward and away for some time of self-doubt. Just let go of all the thoughts that you have going on and just trust that you put in the work and your body knows what to do. And that was big for me too. Meanwhile, at Seaport Village, a sports store manager tells NBC7 that a lot of people have stopped by looking for any kind of Kobe gear so much so that it's completely sold out. With Kobe, he was, everyone was a fan of him. Every race, every age, like there was no, no one that wasn't a fan of Kobe because he was so amazing. He's just like a universally admired athlete. <laughs> the manager says they still have a few Lakers shirts, but none of Kobe's. A sock store is also sold out of Kobe's socks. And not just here, but people around the world are paying tribute to the basketball legend. Memorials are growing from Kobe Bryant's hometown in Philadelphia all the way to the Philippines. Bryant's presence was also felt at the Australian Open Tennis Tournament. Los Angeles Clippers head coach Doc Rivers said the news is just devastating to everybody who knew him. Known him a long time. And, uh, you know, he, he just, he, mean, he means a lot to me, obviously. Um, you know, he was such a great opponent, you know. Um, it's what you want in sports. Bryant was also recognized at the Grammys yesterday inside the Staples Center, Kobe's home for his entire career. San Diego County health officials are investigating a possible case of coronavirus here in the county. So at this point, few details are available, but we do know that the person traveled from Wuhan, China, here to San Diego. The patient is being isolated at a local hospital while undergoing tests. We expect to know those results tomorrow. The city is responding to a privacy concern over this Stop. new smart street light technology. The city of San Diego is establishing new regulations in response to concerns over surveillance footage captured on smart street lights and how that data is being used. The drafted policy would prohibit the transfer or sale of video captured by street light sensors. Well, we're just one month away from the dismantlement of the San Onofre nuclear power plant near San Clemente. Today, Southern California Edison mailed a notice of deconstruction to 12,000 residents living within five miles of the plant. The plant was shut down in 2012, you'll remember, after a small radiation leak led to the discovery of extensive damage to the plant's generator system. According to the Union Tribune, the entire removal process could take about eight years. Well, are we shaping up for more perfect sunny weather? Yeah, here's Dagmar. The coast and the inland valleys, you are looking at a warm up and a bit of a wind situation picking up. So there will be a moderate Santa Ana setup moving across the region. The coast will see the low 70s tomorrow. Inland valleys, mid to upper 70s. Mountains, you'll be sitting at around the 60 degree mark in the deserts, also in the mid to the upper 70s. Winds will begin to peak under this moderate Santa Ana setup Tuesday night and basically reaching maximum right around Wednesday afternoon, evening, and then tapering through Thursday. So the maximum winds again Wednesday, right? around that 35 to 45 mile per hour mark with isolated gusts up to about 50 miles per hour for Wednesday. But you'll start to notice that for Tuesday, warm, dry and breezy. A new study from UC San Diego shows that algae may help with digestion. More than 50 volunteers added powdered algae to their diet for a month, and those who had a history of digestive issues noted a significant improvement. The algae was grown in tanks that you see right here, which are similar to fermentation tanks that are used at breweries. Meaning to a green drink. Uh, some lucky yeah. students got a call from a UC San Diego alum, very cool one, all the way from outer space. NASA astronaut Jessica Meyer answered questions from 150 middle school students at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Earlier today, she video called the students from the International Space Station. 
and spoke to them about her love for science and what inspired her to become an astronaut. That I wanted to be an astronaut when I was five years old, and I think I was always enthralled with exploration and nature in general. Probably it was my mother that inspired me with that. She's cool to boot. Meyer is currently on her second spacewalk. In October, she took part in the first all-female spacewalk in history. It's going to do it for our nightly check-in. And if you'd like a quick preview of the day's top story, subscribe to our Today in San Diego podcast. It's available on all podcast streaming platforms. And we'll be back for another check-in tomorrow night. Have a terrific evening.